How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of black lager up in this piece in the form of Swamphead Brewing's River Lager. Um, yeah, this comes courtesy of my boy Charles. Um, he actually turned me on to Swamphead not too long ago. And by not too long ago, I mean about three or three and a half years ago. And ended up working at the brewery randomly. How about that stuff? And uh, he worked there now. He decided to grab a bunch of their staple stuff. Doesn't really come from the brewery. Comes from him, um, even though he works there. And uh, I'm just in the mood for some black lager. He sent me a whole bunch of stuff. I would say there was probably, what, I don't know, like 13 beers or something like that in the whole mix. Nine. There was nine. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to dive into this sucker. Uh, it's a 5.9% um, black lager. Um, it is named after the Deadhead Lager's search through murky waters uh, for sunken logs that never completed their trip down river um yeah bum, 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 bum. that's a florida treasure hops malt yeast and water dun dun this be canned i can't really really read this but it is a lager it was canned in at least this year so we should be all right um this is april something or other the seventh of April 2020, we are in full COVID lockdown. So here we go. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely looks the color of a black lager of a Shores beer. Label-wise, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that my favorite labels of all time are... There we go. Better. Um, Swamp Head. Something about it. I don't know. Doesn't really do it for me, but... Doesn't necessarily mean beer's going to be poopy. It looks all the parts of a nice, rich lager. It looks the part of a nice, rich porter, to be perfectly honest with you. Index finger, infinitely creamy head. That's a nice, um, rich darkness to it, although it is not like a blackness that you would get from a really thick kind of stout or something like that. So she looks the part. Let's see if we get a nose. I mean, it smells exactly what you'd expect a kind of Schwarz beer black lager to come off as. So you get that rich kind of maltiness. It has a little bit of kind of a black strap molasses combine, combined with a little bit of kind of heavier, darker sugars. And then you get a little bit of soft lager vibes. There's nothing too sulfury, nothing too crazy. Yeah, that sweetness really comes through. You definitely get that kind of soft lager yeastiness. Done and done. Let's dive in. Cheers. I mean... That'd be a dark lager. Crisp, clean, refreshing. This is a summer beer. A lot of people look at darker beers like this and go, oh man, you know, mm, not something I really want to drink during the uh, summer months. But no, a really nice colder version of this goes down really well. So it's got that crisp cleanness you'd expect from a classic lager. It bags it up with the, uh, that uh, maltiness. Now I expected it to be a little bit more sweeter because it did give me a little bit of that kind of molasses vibes in the nose, but it goes a little bit more kind of charry, a little bit more kind of roasty toasty than I thought it was going to be based off of the nose. Well, it does have a nice sweetness to it. That malt comes through in a very kind of toasty kind of way. Ends up being a really fucking tasty beer, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, it's it's not a world beater. It's, it's not like something that is a two by four to the face of flavor, but that's not what a dark lager, a Schwarz beer is supposed to be. It's just supposed to be well-made, crisp, clean, well-made, and just lean a little bit heavier into the malts than the hops. There's a soft bittering to it, nothing too crazy. You'll almost be able to confuse those with like a bittering kind of uh, from the roasted malts. Done and done. It's a really tasty beer. Is it? Let's cut to the chase because we're pretty much at the end. Is it one of the better? Schwarz beers that I've had as of late. It's in the conversations. It's not numero uno best of all time i mean there's some ones that really do it for me um this isn't there but it's really tasty beer i would never push this away and honestly if something like this was readily available um around my my way you know give me this in a six pack you know 10 bucks or less then i'm probably buying this more often than not um let's see value and availability i actually don't know swamp head's footprint if uh charles or anybody else out there wants to let me know what's one when it comes to swamp head along with the price point, leave you with, if you like what we like, yes, if you like classic Schwarz beer, dark lager, that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to get here. Again, not a 2 by 4 to the vase, not an otherworldly experience when it comes to beer in general, or, or this style in general, just really well done, classic black lager. Done and done. There you go, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it, massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, so hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little black lager right now, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.